What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Jay Hall. Let's get straight into it. Delusion does not beat biology. A Facts. lot of women seem to think that they can knock a man out just because they see it all the time on TV. And I'm here to tell you that that is not the case. So you think if your man gets knocked out, you gonna stand a chance? Yes. <laughs> Boosa knows how to swing. Uh -huh. I believe her. She's saying her hands mm -hmm. bisexual don't matter. So if a man can knock you see every guy on that panel just like... What are you even talking about? Stop capping, dude. No, absolutely no way, bro. Realizing that there's a difference in the biology of a woman and a man. According to humankinetics.com, adult males tend to be taller with longer limbs. Adult males have more overall muscle mass and less body fat than females. Adult males develop larger skeletal muscles as well as larger hearts and lungs in a greater number of red blood cells. Mm -hmm. This helps with the absorption of oxygen. So when it comes to anything physical, <laughs> he's taking a two on one. <laughs> Perfect. will have the advantage. But I will point out that women do tend to have longer endurance. So women are able to manage glucose and store it in the body where it can be quickly used when taking part in endurance events. But endurance will only go so far when you're knocked out. And this situation mm -hmm. has gotten so out of hand that even Joe Rogan had to address it. What the f*** is going on Bro, with people allowing biological men to compete against women? I mean, out of all the sensitive sh I'm a pretty sensitive person. I'm pretty open-minded, but have you women... ever trained with a woman? Have you ever like trained? Yes. With so you know Gabby Garcia. That sure. I trained with her once. Oh, and I was like, and I was like, before we trained, I was like, told the coach, like, dude, am I gonna have to this chick up? Because uh, she's, dude, she's bigger. Than she's me. huge. She, dude, like, Gabby Garcia is absolutely massive. I'm gonna have to. If she's on all. Yeah, the no, her. her it's probably gonna be can. <laughs> you know, I'm like, <laughs> am I gonna have to put this chick up? And he starts laughing. I'm rolling with her, and then she was just. Like she just felt like a She's, fat chick. Yeah. Well, and after that, I was like, oh, fuck. There's a weird thing going on in this culture with gender. And this is what social media has Thanks. done, guys. It's teaching women that they are just as strong as men. It's blurring the lines between the biological differences. Hey, excuse me. Hello. Do you think men are stronger than women? No, I don't think so. I mean, Stupid. like, they're physically built different. So do you think men are physically stronger than women? No, not necessarily. Bro. Oh, my God. We're physically built different, therefore somebody has to be a little stronger than the other one. What are you even talking about? What's the strongest weightlifter or powerlifter of, of a woman? I think she bench pressed like 600 pounds. There's guys out there throwing up like 1,100 pounds, bro. Get out of here with that. Hey, excuse me. Hey, what's going on? So this girl said that she does not think men are stronger than women. What do you think about that? It's false. Why? I mean, on average, men are going to be stronger than women 80% of the time. Do you think people yeah. would agree with that? Definitely. Hey, excuse me. Yes. So this guy said that he thinks men are stronger than women. What do you think about that? Physically stronger? Just in general. I would say that's probably a little bit misinformed. I love it. He's walking, but he's also walking around like a woke college and all these kids are going to say the most liberal left leaning. We're equal. Me, me, me. And this is very dangerous for society. Yes, so even is. this professional female boxer, Clarissa Shields, is claiming that she can beat up a male professional boxer. Do you think there are professional men out there that you could beat in a, in a boxing match? Absolutely. I'm, I'm a two-time Olympic gold medalist, undisputed Stupid. champion. They always say, oh, you know, a woman can't beat a man. I, I spar Stupid. with men. I drop men. I, I bust men nose. I beat men up all the time. No, it's, it's a sparring session. In an actual fight, there's no headgear, and he's coming for your ass. Clearly, the men you spar with are not supposed to go all out on you. Because yeah. this is what happens when she taunted a man that she was fighting with, and he ended up going a little bit further. You got, you got. I <laughs> He turned up the heat and she couldn't take it. Yes. Oh! <laughs> you shouldn't have been talking shit! Damn! What happened, Here we have what happened to all that? What happened to all that? Greatest female fighters of all time, Lucia Riker. She ended up fighting against a boxer who is considered an amateur in his field. Oh, this is gonna be good. Bang! Ooh, ooh. Ooh, this is a wrap. It's clear for that her. Lucia wanted to overwhelm her opponent and tried to steamroll him. She was able to put some chai onto the ropes and start swinging. So she ended up having better technique, better execution, but his speed, agility, and, and strength were just too great that it didn't really matter. 
After landing several big punches, she had her opponent cornered. But that's when he started swinging back, landing a left and right hook with an uppercut that sealed the knockout. Bang! Bow! Wow! So keep in mind, guys, these oh, are. And he's going all out on this girl, too. <laughs> fighters and even when it comes to people that don't know how to fight it's still the same equal rights equal lefts you know what i'm saying <laughs> the outcome so right here we have a female beauty influencer and a man that's also into makeup and it don't look like they really know how to fight and by the way that man fights you can tell he plays for the other team and he was still able to overpower because <laughs> i'm trying to sound like i'm saying something profound but this is common knowledge when yeah, did the lines get blurred or when did it get offensive to say that? Well, 100 years ago, women knew this and they weren't willing to argue it. They're stronger than women. And for all the guys that's watching this video, if you want your skin to look like you have makeup on when you actually don't, all right, that's something special for you. Oh, you got a whole ad in here, bro. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, oh. oh, this is some Muay Thai. These people don't play. This looks like a teenage boy and like a grown up. So this right here is good sportsmanship, man. I love to see it. They both put up a good fight. And let's not forget the female soccer team that got destroyed oh by kids. God, in this high was school. so funny. The Australian dude. women's national team, who were ranked number five in the world at the time, yeah. lost seven nil to a team of fifteen-year-old boys. <laughs> Outstanding, yeah. Fifteen-year-old boys. <laughs> High schoolers, sophomores. Bink. Bink. 7 0. And if you ever ask a pro male fighter if they could take on women, this is the answer they always say 30 women fighting you in a ring. You think you could beat them? Like, how many women until it's too much for you? I don't mean to sound. No, I agree with you. about the sound, but. If the girls don't know what they're doing, the number could be infinite. I thought he was gonna like say it more reasonable. <laughs> Jorge Masvidal, the number could be infinite. I'll just keep them coming. Keep another round. It's like COD zombies. Just keep them coming. Number, but he said infinite. He gonna take him off forever. And I wonder what that match will look like. Uh, Right, clearly that shit is for entertainment. It's funny. This man is built like an ice cream cone, but none of those girls can touch him. This man literally knocked them away with a wave he of his real is built like one of them Dairy Queen soft so soft serves, you know what I'm saying? Straight melting out that thing. And guys, if you think I'm joking about the delusion, here's a video of a man asking random women on the street that if Floyd Mayweather was to identify as a woman and fight against women, would it be a fair fight? Uh -oh. Floyd Mayweather identified as a woman. Should he be allowed to compete? against other female boxers. Yes. What? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You guys all confidently say yes? Yes. Do you think that would be a fair fight? Yes. If the organization forced female boxers to have to compete, then yes. they had no choice. So I'm just gonna sum this level of delusion up. Why, why are women okay with this? Why are modern women okay with jeopardizing all of the sports that they've worked so hard to build? Like all these, all these athletes, all these female athletes that have worked so hard to build up a boxing career or be in soccer or be a swimmer and just willing to just hand it away to the men. I almost bet you the chicks that are in these sports aren't willing to do it, but it's these randos on the street, these lib, these liberal, like younger folks with the pink hair and the septum piercings that are like, yeah, it should be fair. Yeah, it's fair. He can jump in there and just a biological man can beat up a biological woman. It's fair. No, it's, it's not. It's not even close to being fair to ignorance they just don't know they don't know let's be honest man most people have not been in a fight and we see a lot of shit on social media a lot of shit in the movies and mm -hmm. we think that's how it is but when you actually been in a certain situation then you will start to think oh shit men are actually strong and this yeah. can also be proven when well, a even serena williams said something like that she was like i i couldn't beat like a regular schmegular dude who's like a who's ranked like 280 something in tennis and she's the number one female tennis player she's she's openly admitted that this dude would stomp her like it's just it's not fair at all it's not fair absolutely one bit
as women. This transgender fighter humiliated her opponent by breaking her skull. In a video from oh 2013, God. we can see a fight between Fallon Fox and Erica Newsom. Both the fighters engaged in a stand-up exchange in the fight, with both fighters throwing punches. Fox managed to throw Newsom to the ground, but Newsom was quick to get back up. Later, Fox delivered and a- And this Newsom chick is built like a pit bull forceful knee strike to Newsom's chin, Ooh. causing her to lose consciousness and fall face first onto Ooh. the mat. It was revealed that Fox was actually transgender. So they didn't even know that she was born a man until later on. Wow. And she was a guy when she was born, but over the course of six years, with the help of hormone medication and sex reassignment surgery, Bro, we can all tell that you a man. She had transformed into a woman. Many male and female fighters, coaches, and promoters criticized- well, that is a dude. Fox, claiming that it was unfair and extremely risky for a man to face a woman in the ring as she gets an unfair advantage over her opponents. And I agree. The wow. biological differences are very relevant right mm -hmm. here. You can't argue that. And all in all, I just want people to be safe out here, man. A lot of women will hit men when they're around other people Ooh, or when I they're seen on camera video. because they think that men won't hit back. And when a man actually Well, here, here's what happens is these women swing on men and then expect their man to take care of it. She's like, bip. And then she's like, honey, get him, get him. And then the girls are like, they're running away because they don't want to have to actually fight. They just want to start the fight. Back. That's when they're going to play the victim like they didn't just hit him first. <laughs> Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watched. Me personally, I wouldn't hit a girl. If a girl's trying to hit me, I'm just going to push her away, create distance. Yeah, I'm just going to get away from the situation. And just walk away, bro. The only reason I would ever knock a girl out is if she's trying to kill me. She's trying to kill me. Yeah, yeah. facts. She's she running up on me with a blade or something like that. She might get a two-piece and a biscuit like I'm working overtime at Pie Pies. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. I'm knocking her out, man. I'm pull, 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 you know what I'm saying? Combo in this bitch. Because that's my life right there. I'm not trying to get killed. And mm -hmm. just because we have this biological difference, it doesn't mean that a girl can't hurt you. A girl can definitely hurt you, man. They can pack some pain. Okay. 200 pounds be. more of force, bro. That is. That's one big back Betty coming straight at you, boys. <laughs> <laughs> An extra 200 pounds is one big back Betty coming straight full force at your forehead. Inflict pain. But any woman that's watching this, don't go ahead and pick fights with men. Okay? Don't put your hands on people and not expect to get hit back. Because a lot of women will think like that. Mm -hmm. So if a woman should hit a man, should he smack her back? No. Why not? Because she's a girl. Well, she doesn't know that? Uh, but I just think that's unfair. So if a woman smack a man, what should he do? He probably deserved it, to be honest. What? I love it. How about you just don't put your hands on people? Yeah, don't, don't put your hands on people. We all know women and children are more delicate and we protect them. But when they take advantage of the protection, that's... They really do, though. Like, modern women take full advantage of the protection that they get from modern society. We saw a video... I did an episode the other day. A chick was getting robbed in broad daylight. There's women and there's men around. They, they were mad that the men didn't do anything to help her. Where were the women at? The women were just as scared. They were... They were running away, too. So ladies, why are you putting your hands on men? You shouldn't ever resort to violence, right? Be an adult. Talk about it. Have a peaceful re resolution for what you guys are going through. You don't need to put your hands on somebody. Because delusion cannot defeat biology. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry. You could be one of the best boxers. We saw her. She got straight beaked. She got knocked out. This guy straight got a... Perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like he's playing Mortal Kombat or something. He straight ate her up like a Wendy's lunch. You know what I'm saying? Gave her a two-piece and a biscuit like he's working overtime at KFC. Gave her that combo. I'll have two wings. I'll have two thighs. Thank you so much. Family special. I'm serving it up. Extra biscuit. You know what I mean? But it's in today's society, women are so desensitized by the hierarchy of how much stronger men are that they are comfortable putting their hands on men. Slapping men, punching men, hitting men. Because they know that we aren't going to hit them back. 100 years ago? Well, I heard... Before that, I heard Russia, a few years ago, put back into like a, not, not a rule of thumb, but they put in like a domestic violence clause. They're like, hey, you can hit your woman, which is crazy to me, crazy to us in the West, because I don't think you should ever hit a woman. I don't think you should ever hit anyone, unless you're a professional fighter. If you're a professional fighter, go out there, throw the fisticuffs, do your thing, get your money. But I don't think you should ever should resort to violence. I've never been about violence. I've been in one fight my entire life, and it was over a girl. It was a very stupid fight. A very, very stupid fight. It was meaningless looking back. Absolutely meaningless. But other than that, never been in a fight. I've wrestled. 
with your friends and stuff like that. And like, I, I know the basics of boxing, but it, it, could I get out there with an amateur? I'd get absolutely smoked. I'd get smoked out there. But, you know, if somebody's coming up on the street, I know how to defend myself kind of type situation. Um, but in Texas, it's open carry, so you can straight up carry a gun. It's the wild, wild west out here, boys. So you can straight up just walk around, just, yeah, boy, I got this, got this Colt 45 revolver on my hip, son. You can straight up open carry here without a license, by the way. You can, you can walk around without a license. It is literally the wild, wild west. It is a straight up Clint Eastwood, John Wayne movie out here right now. You go to TJ Maxx, dude's got a gun on him. You go to Ross, dude's got a pistol on their hip. It's crazy, bro. It's absolutely crazy. But that's how it is in Texas. We don't care. <laughs> it's the South. Greg Abbott, baby. <laughs> you can carry a pistol. It's nuts to me. You can carry a rifle on you. Come on, just put the rifle on your back. You're good. You don't. Need, you got a license? No, you don't need it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's crazy to me. So I, I haven't seen a fight personally since I've lived in Austin. Now, when I was living downtown Austin, which was years ago, I would see fights every once in a while. You see fights on the street. You see... You know, people bowing up, dudes that are drunk, like, Dude, talk to her, uh, uh, and they start fighting. Like, but where I live now, bro, e even in Dallas, I wasn't going out that much. But the only time I really saw fights was in in cat fights. We've all seen those. World Star, they just pull hair, slap a little bit, and it's over. But I don't know. I don't think violence is ever going to solve the actual problem that you guys have. I've seen. I, I went to fights in high school where two dudes were fighting over the same girl, and then the, then the two guys were best friends afterwards. It's like, wait, like, what? Why couldn't y'all just talk it out and be best friends? Why did y'all have to, like, fight? It's so meaningless. Why did y'all both have to go to school the next day straight and knot it up? Just bink, 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 bink. Why? Why? So stupid to me. I never understood it. Um, even and even I did it and looked back and was like, why did I do that? That was the dumbest thing I could have ever done. Absolutely dumbest thing I could have ever done. But you got to learn. You got to learn. But it's crazy to me, man. It's crazy. But I bet there's a lot of women out there right now, especially modern women, that think I could take a man. I could take him. I could take him. I could fight him. I could beat him up. With the 15-year-old soccer boys. 15-year-old soccer boys beat an Australian pro women's team 7-0. 7-0. <laughs> seven to, zero. <laughs> seven to zero. I bet they don't, I bet they could have scored 14. But the coach is like, hey, guys, let's keep it chill. Keep it under 10. You know what I'm saying? I played soccer. I don't know if you guys played sports or anything. But in soccer, 7-0 seven to, seven to nothing is a straight blowout. I'm talking straight smoke show. You beat somebody 7 to nothing. that's straight disrespect on their family. Like, 7 to nothing, you don't see that a lot. You really, really don't. When you beat somebody 7 to nothing in soccer, it is, man, there's some mad disrespect going on there, right there. Mad disrespect. It's like blowing somebody out in a football game 72 to nothing. It's like, bro, y'all just, what was it, IMG Academy versus, uh, oh my God, I watched the documentary. I can't even remember the high school. Oh, it's going to kill me now. But they, they blew them out like 96 to zero. <laughs> like, how do you even score that many touchdowns? You'd have to score like on every drive and get some picks. A bunch of pick sixes and just straight up like carries down. That's crazy to me. But I just, I think it's horrible that a lot of modern women are cool with men being in female sports. No, you don't want it. Look at Leah Thomas right now. She's the swimmer, right? She's the swimmer. She's like shattering all these NCAA records. When there's other NCAA swimmers that are actually women, biologically women, that have worked so hard to even break records. It's tough enough, right? It's hard enough to break records. But then they have a guy, literally just a six foot eight dude, like basically Michael Phelps with a, you know, with a little bit of, I guess, cleavage. I don't even know what you want to call it. Like he's still got a schlong, I think. He's out there just shattering all the records. And they're putting Leah, Th they're putting his name up there for women's sports. It's like, what? Here's what I think. Here's the solution, I think, to this entire problem. We have male sports. We have female sports. And then we have transgender sports. So if you want to be trans, go. Go compete in that league. But you know what's funny is you never see it going the opposite way. It's always transgender men wanting to compete in female sports. But it's never transgender female women wanting to compete in male sports. Right? It's like Caitlin Clark, the NCAA girl that just went to the WNBA. It's like her being like, nah, I want to play with LeBron. She would get smoked by LeBron. They would eat her up. The NBA is absolutely brutal. I look at those guys and I'm like, I would have torn every ligament and every freaking muscle in my body if I was playing that physically right now. Now, I'm a little bit older, so a little bit different. But it's just crazy to me. You do not want men competing in women's sports. Promise you. Because we're going to shatter every record. And before you know it, it's going to be all just, we're going to, and what's even crazier is we're so woke now that women are letting men compete in beauty pageants. And men are winning. <laughs> 
what did it what 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 was her name caitlin jenner or whatever bruce jenner years ago got like person of the year or bravest person of the year or something like that it's like that's brave really what about the firefighters that go into burning buildings what about cops that go into you know shootouts what about military people that are in afghanistan or iraq or overseas and have to fight insurgents and have to dig trenches like what about those guys are those guys brave because if being if if brave is being transgender and being saying you're a guy, saying you're a girl when you're a guy i'm like we have to make up another word we have to move our lips in another way to give brave the actual weight that it deserves because the cops, firemen, military folks, those people are brave. The ones that are doing like the frontline stuff, those people are brave. Not, not Leah Thomas or Caitlyn Jenner. It's crazy to me. Really do appreciate you guys, man. We just hit 14,000 subscribers. It's like almost every day we're getting about 1,000 subs. It's absolutely mad. You guys are real for that. Um, I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.